This is a Samsung Indulge Take Apart Repair Guide. The first step will be to remove the back battery cover. From there, you can remove the battery and the SIM card. Now, using a small Phillips screwdriver, we're going to remove the six small Phillips screws as shown in the video. With all the screws removed, we can now use the safe open pry tool to begin releasing the clips holding the back housing in place. Work your way around all four sides, releasing the clips, and remove the back housing. With the motherboard exposed, we can now remove two more small Phillips screws and the single pop connector. The motherboard can now be released and removed from the rest of the device. Using a small Phillips screwdriver, we now have seven more small Phillips screws to remove. We can now lift away the slide flex cable from the keyboard assembly. Be careful when feeding this through as to not rip the cable. We now have four more small Phillips screws in each corner that need to be removed. We can now slide the metal frame over and begin releasing the clips holding the back of the screen assembly in place. Start with the top and bottom and then work your way towards the slide. With all the clips released, you can then lift away the back of the slide assembly. On the back of the screen assembly, we have four jaw connectors that need to be released and the flex cables removed. The first one here is the slide flex cable. Simply lift up the back flap and remove the ribbon. Use the same process to release the other three connections. With all the connections released, we can now use a pry tool to begin lifting away the LCD screen from the front housing. Be careful as it is held in place with a small bit of adhesive. You can now replace the LCD screen. To remove the touchscreen, we're first going to need to heat the touchscreen flex cable and then the front of the actual housing. Use quick movements around all four edges for about 45 seconds. Once the adhesive has been warmed, we can now lift away the touchscreen flex cable which is adhered to the housing. With the flex cable released, we can now begin prying between the touchscreen and the housing.
work your way around all four sides, releasing all the adhesive, and then gently pull through the touchscreen flex cable through the slot in the housing. You can now replace the touchscreen digitizer.